It's been cool. I noticed that I'm a voice for the neighborhood. So working with CICF allows me to gain resources and spread it through the community faster than I think has ever been done before. Working with CICF, uh, just like I said, being able to have multiple resources from when I was doing it myself, only thing I can do is help somebody pay a cell phone bill or, you know, get a few groceries. Now I work with CICF, we've had resources that pay people rent up to six months. Um, we've given up to $500 per household for, for groceries. Um, we help people move into houses and homes. And that wasn't my original plan working with CICF. It was to go into uh, building and getting these resources out of the community centers. So with COVID, you know, all of our direction shifted. The program has been amazing. Uh, the group, we've became family over the last three years. And it's kind of been dope being around people like mine like myself, because when you talk community work and trying to like save other people and other families, a lot of people don't understand it. So working with the ambassador group has been great. Um, we all, you know, understand each other. And we understand what we go through on the day to day to help people and help ourselves. I don't think you're chosen. I think it's just a calling. Because I always, when I was 2019 through most of COVID, I always asked myself, what am I doing here and why? And I was, you know, at the end of it, like I said, it was, it was more of a calling than anything. I don't think that you can just pick somebody out the room to represent um, any neighborhood and be the ambassador just from um, your work, your college experience. I think it's got to be something you believe in and something you wake up day to day doing just from the heart. Everything I know now is it's funny the way I apply myself um, to a lot of things that started from a neighborhood, so I can never forget that. Plus the joy, too, from, like I said, the kickball games to the Sunday fun days to loud music. That's why I'm always something somebody's party having a good time to just being with your neighbors, being a community person, you know, that's that's what it's all about. Something that I would change from the neighborhood, I wouldn't change nothing. I would think I would highlight a couple more things if I had unlimited resources now, but I know 10, 15 years ago, a lot of the guys that got a bad rep, I think I would have just helped them change their narrative with, you know, resources I have now through media outlets, through funding, um, through partnerships, through mentorships, because it changed a lot of things. We live in a time where we always say they taking over our community, so that was a time for myself to step up and be like, they're not going to take over, we're going to be involved, and we're going to know what's going on. So that kind of led from um, other things going on in Hallville to leading to Belmont Beach was just something the city was already planning to work on, and I just wanted to jump on a project, and I was a good candidate to lead it. And, here we are today. And it's crazy how life throws you through all these things. I've never thought I would be in this field, never thought I'd be doing it now for profit, but um, with the organization of Belmont Beach, or the Friends of Belmont Beach, what we call it now, I've got to see the process. And through that, I am starting my own called No Days Off, which used to be a record label, a promotion company, and a consulting company. So I thought, why not put that all in one and just, you know, get, be that resource for the community?